Hello Scorpios, thanks for tuning in for the um, July of 2020 Psychic Terrascope. This is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, and Scorpio Moon. My name is Vicki Burley. I'm the Rock and Roll Tarot creator, which we're going to use for the main um, portion of the deck, for the main portion of the reading, and then we're going to go also pull a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle card. If you are a level 2 Patreon subscriber, there's going to be three additional cards pulled from the Songs for the Journey Home. Okay, let's get right into the reading. Cards were shuffled thoroughly in between, not on camera because there's no point in it. I will do now do my loose shuffle, and we will pull out the cards for Scorpio for the month of July of 2020. We've got another eclipse coming up this month, Scorp, so eclipse season is not over yet. Um, and then one more card for our Scorpio friends, and there we go. Well, this Page of Pentacles has been out a lot. Well, it's been out a lot in that other deck that we use, the Songs for Journey Home. Well, the Moon card did was the very first card out, so we do want to talk about the Moon, the Lunar Eclipse. That is happening on July 4th. It is a Lunar Eclipse, a Full Moon Eclipse. Therefore, it is eclipsing something out of our lives. This is for everybody. Um, it looks like it could really, in your case too, and some of the people, it's, it could be really something of benefit, like that you could feel a lot better from it. It is happening in the sign of Capricorn, which is harmonious to you, because you're a Scorpio, that's a sextile to your um, Scorpio energy. If you don't know your rising sign and all that, you can go to my website, and I have a, a page now where you can get a free print out of all your astrology stuff, and then I also have a video that you can order, and um, it kind of explains all that stuff for you, but at any rate, it's a, it's a harmonious aspect. And if, if you're Scorpio rising, it's happening in your third house. So it could be some kind of a news coming for you. So triumph and victory is yours with the Six of Rods here. That's a really nice card. That's you being chosen, you being the best at something. This is earned recognition. This is not just some random thing or a random gift or something like that. This is earned recognition. This is something that you've earned and you are uh, in the spotlight and you're chosen and because you're the best because you've put the time in because you've done the work i like that this is also a load is being lifted off your back right in the same row here so you seems like a burden would be released during this full moon that would be what might, could potentially be eclipsed out of your life it's interesting that we have the Three of Cups here, too. This is a card of happiness and celebration. Often it could be like a gathering, like a, a shower or a wedding or something. But I'll often, too, use this card to signify holidays. And, of course, Fourth of July in the United States is our big Independence Day. It's a big holiday that's coming up. So, um, very much so, it's, it's indicating, again, that that eclipse is going to be a big one for you Scorpios. Something that you've been feeling like really down about and really, you know, sad about and everything, it's, you're not feeling that way anymore. There's cause to celebrate. Where you felt less than, you feel on top of the world about. You, you, you're being acknowledged. You're getting recognition. Where before you may have been not treated as well or not recognized as well. And you've probably been waiting a while with this, with the Hermit in Reverse. You've been waiting. It's just like, you know, and Scorpios, you'll do that to some extent. You know, you'll quietly go about your work. You're not, you're a powerful sign. You have a very powerful aura and energy about you, but you're not a braggart usually. You're not a braggart or a show off or a look at me, look at me. You know, a lot of times you'll just, you know, do your work quietly and, and, and then this, but now there's recognition and somebody's noticing this and you're really happy about it and things are going to really start moving again here because of this things are up moving forward and going towards um let me drink a water real quick here moving towards a goal moving towards something that you really want that you've been wanting that you've been waiting around for for a long time they're saying that you, that you thought may have eluded you the happiness that you thought may have eluded you is heading your way. You have the chariot here. This is the highest success card in the entire deck. So there is some major success that is coming your way. With these two cards together in particular, that's a very strong indication of very high success coming your way. Um, 
Cherry can also re uh, represent travel or uh, a car, but I wouldn't buy a car until after Mercury goes direct. Um, that's going to be on, I forgot to write it down, it's over here, on the 13th, 12th or 13th, 12th probably. Mercury goes direct on the 12th, so if you're thinking about a car, I would wait till after the 12th uh, to buy it. Some people will say wait till they're out of the shadow, but you can't, you know, put your whole life on hold because of Mercury retrograde. Uh, Page of Pentacles. News is coming about money. Per perhaps this, sometimes this ties in again to Earth. Well, we're not going to be in Earth sign during the month of July, but that eclipse, that July 4th eclipse, is in the sign of um, Capricorn, which is an Earth sign. This could also have to do with that. Okay, um, now, uh, there's another thing I want to mention because then there's a new moon, another new moon in Cancer. We had the solar eclipse ingress thing, the summer solstice um, solar eclipse last month in June here on the 21st or 20th, whatever you were at, you know, it was around the 21st, let's just say. Now we're going to have another. That's unusual to have two. Usually you get one new moon and one full moon a year. You're getting your, the, well, you're not getting it, but it's the second one in the sign of Cancer. But that's very harmonious with you again as a Scorpio. That's a nice trine. That's harmonious with your your energy. And it could be very beneficial. I don't know if I mentioned I am still offering that reading uh, on that eclipse uh, because it lasts a long time. It's not just, oh, it happened. The day of the eclipse is everything. No, the energy goes for a long time. So that'll be available at least till the end of June if you're watching this. And I may even extend it one more week because it's been popular. So if you want to find out about that, you can check out my website. But this would be a very powerful time for manifestation for you. This is occurring on July 20th. So yes, yeah, something's being released on the 4th. But then we still have to, so we've cleared the way. we cleared something out. If something's been eclipsed out of our life to remove, you know, Obstacles are moved, and then we can turn around and manifest a new beginning here. Okay. Let me go ahead and start to shuffle up our animal totem card. This is going to be for our Scorpio friends for the month of July of 2020 for Scorpios. The deer. The deer is this this gentle energy, you know. That's all, always the thing of the deer. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying a minute ago. Like, you guys aren't really showy, bragging, oh, look at me, look at me all the time. You just are solid people. You show up, you do your work, you know. You're dependable. You have a lot of really good qualities. And that's the that deer energy. The deer, I mean, you might not always be so gentle. You know, you, you, have, you, you carry a strong presence. And you, you sometimes you even try to sort of disguise it, you know. You try to blend in the background, but your your vibe is so powerful, sometimes it's not easy to do. Let me read the description. It's gentle, peaceful, sensitive soul. Loving persuasion realizes desires. Pay attention to your surroundings, ready to act in an instant. Eight of rods, that's what that is. Ready to get ready to move here in chariot too. If something comes up, you gotta jump on it. Uh, quiet introspect reveals the answers you seek. And that's another thing with the Scorpio energy, too, that quiet introspect. That you're very, I'm sure you're very familiar with that. You know, I have Scorpio rising, and I always need a lot of quiet time alone. You know, I, I need that. I can't always be in a bunch of, you know, this kind of three of cups energy all the time. You know, it's good for a little bit. A few. I'm good for a few hours, but then I have to retreat back into my... <laughs> you know, I need my peaceful, quiet time. So, uh, yeah, this is be gentle, but yet keep keep on trucking is what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, wow, that's an old oldie but oldie but moldy expression. Keep on trucking. They used to have those black light posters with the guys uh, with their legs sticking out. I don't know if I could find it real quick. Most of you watching this, a lot of you would remember it. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, it's like from the 70s, it was, a, there was a bunch of guys with bell bottoms on, and they're all in a line that says, keep on trucking. <laughs> I don't usually, I usually pull up song lyrics when I get on, uh, but this, I just want to see that image real quick, because I'll forget about it by the time I put these videos up. There it is. Come on, pull it up here. Or here's, a, here's one. Oh, this might, might not be able to see it very good. 
shoot. I'm sorry. I do want to show it to you though, because it's it's cool. Uh, I don't know why that came into mind. Maybe there's even a, something on this image that you might. Uh, there, there's a nice, there's a nice uh, version of it. See these guys with their legs sticking out. Keep on trucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scorpio, so keep on trucking. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you enjoy my content, please do hit the subscribe button in the lower right. I want to thank everybody for liking and sharing and commenting and everything that you do, donating and, and joining me on Patreon. I'm about What I'm going to do now, too, is uh, cut these cards out. This is going to be for our Patreon Level 2 subscribers. What I do is I charge one price for a patron, and then you have access to all 12 bonus readings. So you don't have to pay per video. Like a lot of people charge for each bonus reading so much money. I just charge for, um, you, if you're a Patreon level 2, you get you know, access to all 12. And you, you get these early if I can get them up early, but you also get these with no ads on them too. So if you're interested in any of that, check it out on my website. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my content. Have a great... Um, month of July and a great eclipse. It looks like it's actually going to be pretty good for you, Scorps. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye.